Hi, my name is Prashad Ranbis and I am with Drug. In this short video, I'll show you how to enter an asset in Foresight 2 calibration management software. If you haven't already downloaded the software, please watch our other video on how to install Foresight 2. I have a unique 5000 sensor which I'd be using as a device under test for this video. Now let's see how to enter this in Foresight 2 in three simple steps. This is the sensor we are going to add into Foresight 2. We will create this sensor in Groovy Lester side, Unit A location, Block 1 sublocation. Let's go to Assets, Asset Management. We'll first navigate to the tree section. So we'll go to Groovy Lester side, Unit A, Block 1, and we'll create a new tag. So once you click the Create Tag button, you have to enter the tag name and description and this is how you create a tag. Second step is to create a device. This is where we will enter details like manufacturer, model number, the device type and the serial number which can be used to uni uniquely identify our sensor. Please note we are creating a drug unique 5000 sensor. The third and the final step is to add one or more range. This is where we will add our input and output for the sensor. This is a pressure sensor which is 0 to 5 bar input and the output is 4 to 20 milliamps. You can add two tolerances in Foresight 2, which is our pass-fail span and your adjustment span. And finally, we'll assign a calibration routine and a calibration procedure. You can optionally assign a technician and a supervisor if you wish. That's it, three simple steps. You can also use export feature in Foresight 2 to export the assets, go to System Management Database. Under Actions, click Export Data. This will export all the sensor information that we have entered previously. Now that you have exported the data, you can see here all the tag information, devices, all the ranges that are present in your Foresight 2 software. You can use this Excel as a template and create more data and use the import data function to add that information into Foresight 2. This feature can be used to create a replica of an existing plant or a subsection of a plant and this is also a valuable data migration tool. As you can see now, all the data that we have entered in our Excel has been successfully imported into Foresight to Madrid plant. Thank you for watching this video. For more updates, watch our other videos in the series. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's keep calibrating.